dog. Rob, have you ever no. read a book? <laughs> <laughs> Did you read the, the manual from your trip? No, I mean, you know, probably the, the most thing I've read recently is uh, vSphere 7 to vSphere 8 upgrades and change the differences and what you can expect. <laughs> he can't read. Wrong. Hey, that was 100 pages of thrilling documentation, but, you know, yeah. Hey, hey. man, I read uh, Rail 8 to Rail 9 release notes and, and upgrade yep. guides, so you I, know, mean, I can't. Hey, there's some nuggets in there that are going to help out. Yep. So, yeah, I read all the service now upgrades. It's like, oh, look, a new upgrade. Yeah. Oh, they added impersonate <laughs> user. That's one of those things where I bit myself in the ass because normally I'm religious about reading all the upgrades guide documentation and release notes i told you about this yes one. yes but i was doing the red hat uh satellite uh six dot i think it was 6.13 to 6.16 upgrades and i didn't release read all the guides and everything i just read like part of the upgrade guide and i couldn't figure out why it couldn't see the 6.15 because normally you could just skip versions. yeah skip versions I couldn't figure out why you couldn't see the 6.15 in the repositories. I was like, why won't it see it? Well, it wouldn't see it because it said in the instructions that you had to go from 13 to 14 because there were database changes that got made and that you had to make. And then you had to go from 14 to 15 and 15 to 16, 